have one. One K. Puffer. One one K. Can we'll just pet pop it mom. under the clove. One K. Pet mom. And he'll start getting sleepy. One K. Pet mom. Hmm. One K. Pet mom. And if he doesn't get, um, I'll show you in a minute. If he doesn't get sleepy fast enough, um, we'll put a little more clove oil. But we always go slow. So like he's taking his can time. Can I quite get one? Hmm. Can I quite get one? Are you ready? Can I quite get one when you wait? Can I quite get one? Not yet. Okay, tell me when. Okay. He's when, starting to get tired. See him slowing down a little? Yeah. But when you wait, can I? Mm, let me think about it, okay? Okay. Because I want to see how then we'll go quickly swimming there and then go. I want to see how cool it's going to be. You're funny. Okay. He's starting to go. See how he's starting to swim sideways? <laughs> I usually wait till they stop flapping entirely. Hold on. Oh, well, wait. Hmm? I'm going to do taxon. Look at them. We will walk snap. I go on them, guys. Okay, see him? So he's nice and tired now. Can I pet him? And I'm just going to kind of open his mouth with the cuticle clippers here. I'm just going to trim those teeth. This is interesting. It is very interesting. Can I hold his teeth? He's still wiggling a little bit, so you're all right, buddy. It won't hurt. The real quest be like, hey, hey, I am so psychic. Sorry, I'm not letting you see it very good. Can you see his mouth? Can you see it, Chloe? Yeah, I can see it. Does that hurt, though? It doesn't hurt him, but he's. I need to hurry up because he's been out for a while. You see how his teeth are pokey, pokey like a bunny's? Yeah. There. See no teeth? Oh. No teeth? Now we're going to go put him in that net. And let him go back and wake up from his nap. Okay. You okay, Cass? So we'll do one more. I can catch one? You can try. Just one. You want the fatty? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to drop him it. in the clove. You did great. I got it. Drop him in the clove oil. Then we wait for him to get tired. He is so full of snails and worms right now. Look at him. Yeah. We got to watch him close so that he doesn't jump out. <clears throat> he's getting tired. He's like, oh, shoot. He's starting to swim sideways. See how he's starting to flap a little weird? I'll try to give you a better view of his teeth this time, Chloe. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I'm getting sleepy. So sad how they're Oh, now look. Sleep. Tipped over. So that's when I usually grab him. <laughs> Do them lose them lose no color? Hmm? Do them lose He's not no quite color? tired enough. <laughs> he's not quite tired enough. Well, let's just leave it a little longer there, bro. You got a little upset with me squeezing you. <laughs> See, his, right here under his chin, that's that swim bladder I was telling you about. You don't really want him to puff too much because that's not good okay. for him. Okay. Oh, he doesn't even have hardly any teeth. Why is wet? Yeah, that happens. He's only got one little piece here. So I'll just chip that off. Oh, you got one bottom tooth. He's the one who just ate a bunch of snails, Chloe. So this is what I was telling you. If we can feed them snails, they break their teeth themselves. So we don't have to worry about him. Okay, we're going to grab another one. Oh, can I? Yep, can, go ahead and turn that can off. I? Can I? Can I? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Okay, yeah, you can see his teeth really clearly. See his teeth? No, we cannot. So I'm going to grab these front there. teeth here way too long. Snip, snap Nothing those off. Of. And then check for the bottom hey, teeth. Boy. Usually the bottom teeth aren't as bad, but come on, open sesame. His are actually pretty bad. I waited too long. Sorry, bud. What? What? Why was him? Why were you like, sorry, bud? Because his teeth are too long, which makes it harder to clip. Open sesame. There we go. I got it. Can okay, I teeth are clean. Can I Not yet. Can I wait for ready to help you. No, me next. Definitely me next. Definitely no, me next. Now? Okay, last one. Scoop him up carefully. Oh. Yep, oh. Just go slow. Don't chase. If you just put your net in slow, and he'll swim right in and then scoop up. Go straight up. Give you a little hand. Yep, right there. Just. Oh, he's, okay. he's a fast one. He's like, get away from me. I know what that net's for. For catching you and you. We don't eat them. Okay, reach over and flip them in. Okay, and then wait till he goes spinning sideways. Good job. Set it right here. Like it. Don't play with the sand, okay? Why? He looks pretty chill. 
already. So the quill roll must be working a little bit faster. Oh, look, his teeth are perfect. So here's another good snail eater. See him? Yeah. Not focused. His teeth are nice and perfect. No <laughs> teeth. So we'll just put him back in his thing. And then if you turn on, I can turn the light on if you can see it. Yeah, it's fun. So you'll see them. Can you kind of see them sleeping? Let me turn this on. And then I'm going to turn it back off. Hold on, I'll show you. Okay. They're all sleeping. They look like dead fish. I know. It's them sedated. So it takes about 10 minutes usually for them to wake up. But we leave the light off and we just let them slowly. And sometimes I'll take the net and I'll push it. Just to let them have some water flow Chloe. across. Hold on, baby. Okay, Chloe, can we trade? There's one hiding in the reeds here. So he's not moving as well, but the other two, or the other four are. And it's just a matter of how long I had him in the water. Um, since the grandbaby and my niece were helping, one of the guys I know was definitely out longer than the others and in the oil longer. But you can see they're still not swimming the way they normally would, how they're kind of tipped but they're not in at all in any distress. This guy I'm probably gonna help out. I'm gonna get him up in a net and let him relax because he does look like he's stuck in the reeds. Here's one guy. He looks like his one bottom tooth might not have got turned perfectly. Yep, okay, can you see his mouth here? Oh, he's coming around. So I'm gonna have to do his bottom teeth um, again. If we can keep them eating snails, it's better, but it's honestly, some puppers just aren't as interested. And so that's where we get in trouble because they don't do it for themselves.